burglar army is the navigator of the Straw Hat Pirates and one of the senior officers of the Straw Hat Grand Fleet. She is the third member of the crew and the second to join, doing so during the Orange Town arc. She is the adoptive sister of Nojiko after the two were orphaned and taken in by Bella Matilda Diarisis Re. She was formerly a member of the Arlong Pirates and initially joined the Straw Hats so that she could rob them in order to buy back her village from Arlong. However, she legitimately joined the Straw Hats after they rebelled against and defeated Arlong. Her dream is to make a map of the entire world. She first gained a bounty of bully 16,000,000 following the raid on NI's lobby. It later increased to bully 66,000,000 after the Dressrosa arc. Following the raid on the Nagashima, her bounty was increased to bully 366,000,000. Nami is a slim young woman of average height with orange hair and brown eyes. Many characters seem to consider her to be an attractive woman. She has a black tattoo on her left shoulder, which represents Mikan, and pinwheels where she used to have a tattoo for being a member of Arlong's crew. Her overall physique matures slowly throughout the series and then suddenly during the time I skip. Her fashion frequently changes as does her hairstyle. Many of her shirts feature four-letter words, such as gold or evil. On her left wrist, she wears the log pose, which she needs in order to be the navigator of the ship, and a gold bracelet, given to her by her sister. No Jiko. After the Arlong Park arc, Nami frequently changes into a variety of clothes in the series for each arc, and usually pairs her tops with skirts that have two rings on the sides. Her trademark shoes are orange high-heeled gladiator sandals. Nami wears some form of high heels in every arc, and while they do make her taller, they do not seem to affect the way she walks or her speed. Though she tends to style her hair neatly, occasionally, a hair on top of her head may form into a messy cowlick. She wears a strap around her thigh with three slots in it which she keeps each pole of her bow staff and later the climber tucked in. Before the time I skip, Nami wore her trademark orange mini skirt with two white rings on each side filled in with orange or brown in their centers and shirts with short sleeves that were long enough to hide her tattoo on her left shoulder that showed that she was a member of the Arlong Pirates. She also had short hair with a particularly curled strand over the left side of her face. During the Romance Stone arc to the Syrup Village arc, Nami's initial trademark look consisted of a white and blue striped shirt, her trademark orange mini skirt and brown high-heeled boots. During the Barretti arc, she wore a pink shirt with the letters W and a lowercase b in the center in a circle in white. The shirt has white liners and two lines along the sleeves. She also wore her yellow mini skirt, and brown high-heeled boots. During the Arlong Park arc, Nami wore a green camisole with dark green flower shapes, tight black pants with two yellow rings on the sides, and light orange high-heeled sandals. Nami temporarily put on a glove to hide the fact she had stabbed her hand when pretending to murder you soap but quit wearing it once the truth was exposed. She also wore Monkey D. Luffy's straw hat for a while before it was later returned to him. After the act, she wore a plain white shirt with a blue mini skirt with two white rings on the sides. For the first time, she wore sleeveless clothing that exposed her owl long pirates to two, but later, in a fit of uncontrollable rage, Nami later stabbed her tattoo relentlessly in an attempt to destroy it, until Luffy stopped her by force. She eventually asked Dr. Neko to remove it, but the doctor couldn't erase it entirely, leaving a visible scar. The scar had been caused from both Nami repeatedly wounding herself in the arm and the indelible nature of the tattoo. Nami chose to cover it up by getting a new tattoo which was a cross between a tangerine and a pinwheel. In honor of both Bella May Tilda Diarosis Re and Ganzo, Nojiko also gave her a gold bracelet as a keepsake before she departed from her home, which Nami began to wear regularly on her left wrist ever since. During the Legtown arc, she wore a plain navy blue, short-sleeved shirt, a dark blue mini skirt with white rings on the sides, and navy blue high-heeled sandals. During the Warship Island arc to the Reverse Mountain arc, 
She wore a sleeveless baby blue shirt with a light heart in the center with a crisscross design, a dark blue mini skirt, and her regular light brown high heeled sandals. She also received a log pose from Crocus and began to wear it regularly on her left wrist, the same one with her gold bracelet. During the whiskey peacock, she wore a black shirt with the word mode printed in the center in pink with the base in a pink mesh like design her regular yellow skirt and her high-heeled sandals. During the little garden arc, she wore a simple, long-sleeved shirt with blue sleeves, her yellow skirt, and her high-heeled sandals. After escaping Mr. Free's giant candle service set, her shirt was burnt and revealed a black, lacy brassiere underneath. She also wore Sanji's jacket to cover up, before changing on the merry. During the drum island arc, she wore several outfits. In the beginning, Nami wore a pale blue, short-sleeved cotton sweater, a yellow skirt and high-heeled sandals. While Luffy and Sanji carried her to be treated by Dr. Kura, she caught a fever in the previous arc. Nami wore a checkered, hooded parka with the colors white, orange and bright yellow, which Luffy later donned. She wore pale blue pajamas while recovering at Dr. Kura's home and a light purple blanket with light brown fur lining it when she ventured out of her room. In the end, Nami wore a long, maroon coat with fur on the hood, collar and hem, and maroon high-heeled winter boots. During the Arabus to arc, she wore white overalls to protect her skin while in a desert. She retired these clothes during a fight with Zala to reveal a dancer-like outfit after Paula damaged them. This outfit consisted of a blue and purple halter top with a pink shroud and a long white skirt with the top part blue. Nami later tore the skirt up the side to make it easier for her to run. Finally, Nami wore a long sleeved white shirt with a brown skirt to match all of these with her normal high heels. During the Jaya arc, Nami wore a blue and white striped tank top with her usual skirt and high heels. During the first part of the Sky P arc, while exploring Angel Beach and Upper Yard, she wore a bikini top that was designed in a cloud pattern colored in blue, light blue and white. She paired her top with maroon trousers and went barefoot. After returning from Upper Yard, she threw on a light yellow short-sleeved shirt over her bikini and put on her orange high-heeled sandals. Sanji notably showed dismay when Nami put on the shirt. She also wore glasses for a small period of time, and upon doing so, tied her hair back in pigtails to keep it out of her eyes, leaving it tied up for the remainder of her return trip to the upper yard. Nami eventually changed back out of her shirt when she had to dive into water and stayed in her bikini. Sanji was pleased to see Nami had removed it. She finally changed into a grey, zippered camisole with the word evil imprinted on it in big blue letters, blue cut off jeans and a dark grey pair of sandals. During the long ring long land arc she wore a black tank top revealing her navel with the word gold on it. She also wore white jeans with two rings on the side, a bracelet, and her regular high heels. During the Water 7 arc, she sported two outfits. The first one was a dark blue, short-sleeved shirt with a light blue tie that had three rows of black dots decorated diagonally at the end. She complemented her top with a white pleated skirt with golden rings on the sides and dark blue high heel gladiator sandals. After Luffy's fight with Yusop, Nami changed into a violet camisole with the number 3 imprinted on it in white, a white pleated mini skirt, and her default high heeled sandals. During the Anai's lobby arc, she wore black high heeled gladiator sandals. A brown cleavage revealing blouse that exposes her abdomen with cream colored liners and a pale blue, pleated mini skirt. Initially, she also had on a blue denim jacket, but this was later caught and pierced by Kumidri's staff. This caused her to be pinned down, making Nami strip off the jacket and abandon it so she could run away. In the post Anai's lobby arc, she wore a yellow mini dress with a hood and her default orange high heeled sandals. During the Thriller Bark arc, she sported many outfits. One of them was a pink, long sleeved sweater with a white collar, a pleated brown mini skirt, and brown high heeled boots. She later wore a strapless, long wedding gown and white high heeled pumps. 
She tied her hair into a short ponytail. She seemed to have abandoned the sandals for high-heeled boots as of chapter 435, but she started using sandals again by the end of the arc. For the Sabadi Archipelago arc, Nami wore an orange shirt with an orange floral pattern, white short shorts, and a high-heeled sandals. Nami's clothes consisted of a pink shirt, jean shorts, and high heels for the straw hats separation serial. After the time escape, Nami's hair has grown rather long, which reaches her lower back. A single long hair stand hanging on the left side with bangs still hanging over her forehead. Her breasts have also grown much larger, rounder similar to Nico Robbins, but apart from this, her appearance has not changed much, save for the fact that both her body curves and hourglass figure have become more pronounced. Oddly, Nami's face is now drawn to look younger with her eyes bigger droopier, and placed lower on her face. She also has grown slightly taller. After the time escape, her outfit consists of a revealing green and white bikini halter top, tight low rider jeans, orange high-heeled sandals, and a pair of pearl-like earrings that she constantly wears. Ever since arriving in the new world, Nami sports a new belt that is black with a bully symbol on it where she can also keep the pieces of her sorcery climb attacked on the right side and puts the belt around her waist when she is fighting seriously against an opponent. Before leaving Fishman Island, she changed into a criminal brand red halter top and tied her hair back in two ponytails behind her with blue bands, as well as removed her belt. The Minister of the Left also gave her a new world log pose to replace her old log pose, which had become unreliable due to the more unpredictable nature of magnetic fields coming from islands in the new world, which she began to wear henceforth. As the crew left the island, Nami decided to unwind, undressed, and took a bath, but upon being interrupted during a bath due to the ship getting caught in a white storm. She rushed out onto the deck only wearing a light blue hooded zippered sweatshirt over her body, as well as her new log pose, gold bracelet, pearl earrings. She also put on slip-on brown sandals in the anime, she was only shown wearing them very briefly and ended up barefooted, losing her sandals when the sunny passed through the white storm. At the start of the punk hazard arc, when they arrive in the new world, Nami changed into a red and yellow criminal brand bikini top with the same pair of blue jeans, belt, and high-heeled sandals. She also tied her hair back again, and temporarily wore a pink raincoat while in stormy waters. When she reached the cold side of Punk Hazard, Sanji gave her his jacket to stay warm. She was later given a long black double-breasted coat and a set of gloves by Kinnaman using his unnamed Devil Fruit Power. But when Sanji was using her body after Trafalgar Law swapped their minds with his Opope Nomi, he took them off to rescue Kinnaman's displaced torso from underwater, and they changed back into rocks. He had the samurai create a new set of winter attire, a tan coat with black fur and gloves. Inside Caesar Clown's lab, she shed the coat and gloves in the warmer conditions, causing them to revert back to rocks. After returning to the Thousand Sunny, she changed into real and more personalized stylish winter clothing and also replaced the clothes which were not suited for the cold, putting on the high-collared black coat with three sets of gold buttons held together by straps, brown gloves, a set of black leggings instead of jeans, and in place of her sandals, a set of calf-high dark brown boots with white fur insulating the boots at the calves. Once the crew had sailed out of Punk Hazard into more pleasant conditions, she wore a pink sleeveless shirt with the word heat on it in red letters with a picture of candy below it, teal and white striped shorts, and her high-heeled sandals. During the dress rose arc, Nami's first outfit consists of a tank top and short shorts. Later, while playing a showgun scene on the sunny, she wears a bikini top, a necklace with a star pendant, short shorts, and very high heels. After the crew had split up, she changed into a frilled halter neck and a pleated frilled skirt with round studs around the waistline and a small decorative bow in front. She wore her hair back in a ponytail with a scrunchie and kept her pearl earrings and high-heeled sandals. While on zoo, Nami wore a sleeveless fancy purple dress covered in fancy pearls, 
which is a national treasure of zoo. She still wears her high-heeled sandals, and her hair is loose. When leaving zoo, she wore a skirt and shirt with the number 73 on it and later a hooded fur coat when the crew was traveling in cold weather. In the whole Cake Island arc, Nami bought a corset skirt and blouse, making her look like a pretzel girl, which Carrot and Brooke liked. Before landing on Whole Cake Island, Nami briefly wore a suit of armor with spears on the back, due to fighting ants all night, but changed out of it instantly. Later on, after her original outfit gets destroyed in a fire, she steals new clothes from an unconscious man lying nearby. Blue overalls with very large, puffy pant legs along with a pink sash wrapped around her waist. When meeting with the fire tank pirates, she wore a short, backless turtleneck red dress. After escaping Whole Cake Island, she wore a white long sleeve mini dress and donned another belt, similar to the one when arriving the New World, but brown with her new upgraded climate act on the side of her waist. In the Wano Country arc, Nami first wore a dark colored, light purple in the anime, dress with yellow outlines. She was later given a blue and orange revealing Kanoichi outfit by Kinemon. Her third outfit was a baby blue kimono with a dark colored, pink in the anime, floral pattern. Her fourth outfit consists of a red Kanoichi outfit with a dark colored, also pink in the anime, floral pattern completely reminiscent to her first one, with the addition of an armor plate for her midsection, tied with a yellow ribbon, and flower decor on her hair, with her climb attacked hidden safely on her, even after the weapon merges with the homizus. When Kinemon used his devil fruit abilities again to disguise them, she wore a beast's pirate satire. During the egg hair dark, Nami is shown wearing a bright colored leotard bodysuit with a hood, an earpiece and dom shoes. The author has also replied to a fan's question asking about Nami's body measurements are as follows. In SBS Volume 6, according to Sanji, her measurements would be 86 W57 H86, 34 22 34, and in SBS Volume 10, according to Ayachiro Oda, her height was 169 cm. Updated measurements were provided in SBS Volume 37, in which Oda responded to a fan question by saying that her height was 169 cm, 5'6, and according to Sanji, her three measurements would be 95 W55H85, 37.421.65, 36 making her breasts a nightcap in Japan. These measurements were mentioned in the anime during the thriller Bark arc. After the time skip, in SBS Volume 69, her height is 170 cm, 5 apostrophe 7, and her measurements have been 98 W58 H88, 38 58 22.83 34.65, making her breasts a J-cup in Japan. Despite the figures above, Nami's breasts seem to enlarge and then reset throughout the arcs, this is much more obvious in the manga and in movie 7. In episode 1, she appears wearing a ballroom gown with pink lines, a red necklace and earrings, and a pink bracelet. Then, she appears in a pirate's outfit, with a blue shirt, black pants, a red scarf at the waist, a pirate-style black bandana in the head, and two black bracelets. In the movie too, she initially appears in a dark pink bikini. After the Trump pirates stole the Going Merry with her clothes inside, she had to wear a wedding dress from a store. In the movie 3, she wears a white dress with crisscrossed black lines, and a red belt. Also momentarily, she wears an extravagant monkey costume designed by Usopp. In the movie 4, she wears a grey sleeveless jacket, with the word evil on the chest, and a short blue skirt. In the final scene, she wears an orange dress with long sleeves and short skirt, with a white line on the sleeves, also worn during the plot of the movie 5. In the G8 arc, she wears momentarily as a marine janitor, with a white shirt, an apron with the symbol of the marines, a white cap turned inside out 
and two green gloves. Then, she changes the uniform for nurses, wearing a white nurse's cap, a pink shirt, and an apron with the Marines symbol in the pocket, and a dark pink ribbon at the waist. In the movie 6, she initially wears a pink dress, a white shawl, and sunglasses with pink lenses. Then, she changes her clothes for a pink top and a yellow skirt with a black belt. In the spa island dark, she wears a dark pink bikini. In Strong World, she initially wears a black and white vertically striped bikini, and later changes into a red, yellow and green crop top and very short shorts. In Glorious Island, as well as the beginning of film Z, she wears a revealing rainbow bikini, and later puts on an orange jacket over it. When she's turned into a child, she wears a simple white dress, and later into a similar dress with pink edges and yellow spots. Near the end of the movie, she wears a red shirt and skirt with green plating, as well as a red helmet. In Heart of Gold, she wears a black bikini top and blue jeans with a black thong underneath, as well as a blue hat and black gloves. In Film Gold Episode 0 as well as in the beginning of Film Gold, she wears an extremely revealing blue and white bikini, and later changes into a short white dress. She later wears a blue and black outfit with tall fishnet stockings, and momentarily disguises herself as a world noble. During the fight against Tazer's group, she changes into a similar black leather outfit as the other crew members. However she ties the leather top around her waist, instead choosing to wear a blue bikini top, while still wearing the leather pants. In Stampede, she wears orange overalls which end at the top of her thighs, as well as a white bikini top underneath and a green bow on her head.